This is one of my new segmented blanks. It's a herringbone style. It's made with maple and walnut. I'm really excited about these. It's been fun. I've made a number of sets of them so that I could get better each time. Just try to perfect the design and the method for making them. And I think I'm going to have a few of these for sale on my Etsy store. Now, I will let you know uh, this is uh, March of 2023. So if you're watching this in three or four years from now, those blanks probably won't be on the Etsy store any longer. The kit I'm going to use is an Elegant Sierra button click kit. It's chrome. It's really a beautiful kit. And I'm excited. This is the first one of these I've turned, so I'm excited to see what it looks like when it's finished. I have found and marked the center of my blank. I'm ready to drill. Got a 27 64 inch bit chucked up. Notice the orientation of my blank. You can see the V's are pointing down. You always want to drill that way because the bit will stay in the pocket and follow those all the way down the blank. If you flip this over and drill with the points up, when the bit hits those points, there is a possibility that it could veer off and come out the side of your blank or not drill perfectly down the center of your blank. Now, I'm not as concerned about that with a 27 64 inch bit because this bit really isn't going to flex. But if you were using a 7 or 8 millimeter bit, you could have a problem. I drilled quite a bit deeper into this blank than I needed to. I'm making a Sierra, so I only had to go about halfway through. The reason I did that is because I want to lay my tube on the blank and I want to pick the best orientation possible so that I get the nicest, cleanest lines all the way down the blank. I wouldn't want it to end like right in the middle of, say, the walnut. I would want it to end maybe with the point at the bottom of the pin. So this gives me the ability to move my tube up and down the blank and select the perfect point to glue it into the blank. You might have noticed the blank twisting a little bit while I was drilling it. Now, when I would start drilling, I would go right down into the blank, no issue. But after I was in for a moment or two and chips started to pack up in the bit, what that does is make the bit become tighter inside of the blank. And when it did, it gripped the blank and caused it to turn. There are no corners to keep the blank from turning. That's something you want to watch out for. You don't notice that in a square blank. And if you leave the bit in the blank too long and don't clear the chips, the the chips will swell and they will burnish the inside of your blank, making it larger than the diameter of the bit, which means when you turn your, uh, when you glue your tube in, you might have an air gap in there. So when you turn, you can have a blowout because the glue is not going to actually glue that to the blank. Or if it is a large uh, area where it, where it swelled and burnished the blank, it could actually turn away and you end up seeing the tube through your blank. So be real careful about that. About every half an inch to three quarters of an inch, pull your bit out and clear it. I don't know how well you can see my mark on the blank, but what I did is I took my calipers and I found the depth that I was able to drill to. And then I came out and marked that on the outside of the blank. We'll cut it off at that point, And then we'll be able to take our tube and align it on the blank to where the end of the tube meets right where that maple uh, segment ends. That'll leave us about, oh, maybe three-eighths of an inch at the top that will cut off, and we should have a very nicely centered blank for our pin. I was right at the cut mark, so I took a second pass, and I can probably take my tube, there we go, and punch that little piece out, and we should be just fine with our blank. There's my sanding sealer. Give it a few minutes to fully dry and we're ready to sand. I'll come back and show you what this blank looks like when the sanding is complete. The blank sanded really well. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. I've got one blemish here that I'm not sure uh, what caused that. I think it's something in the wood because it was there before I put the CA finish on. If you go back in the video and look, you'll see it as I was spinning it and putting the finish on. 
I used my sanding disc. I thought I could sand through it, and I took a lot of material away down here, but I just couldn't get rid of it. It's it's in the wood, um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. I also took a little chip out here. I think I did that with my gouge. I'm sorry, my uh, skew, uh, but I'll put the clip over that. This is really just more for show than anything. I wanted to show everyone what my blanks look like when they're turned, so... I'm happy with it overall. We're gonna go ahead and put a finish on it. I'll come back and show it to you uh, once I get it buffed up and ready to assemble into a kit. I'm really excited how this blank turned out. The finish on it looks really deep. Uh, it, it's just wild how deep it looks. Let's go ahead and get this pressed into a kit. With this particular blank, all of the angles are facing towards this end. So I want that to be the nib end. And I've got this little grommet that goes in here and we'll start it in. Let's go ahead and get it pressed in. Now we can remove our bushing. Let's get the clip and deciding how we want that to go onto the pin is a trick. I guess, I don't know if I want to do it like this where it goes right down the center of, of where all of the uh, triangles are or if I want to do it down the side. And honestly, I think, I think I'm gonna do it down the side, just like this. All right. You know, I'm a little nervous about this one because I don't want to like press too hard against this, um, the clicker on the pin. So I'm gonna take a, a few minutes and I'm gonna to try to figure out what I can do to avoid pressing against that. Let's see, well, uh, ooh, a bushing might be just the ticket. Of course, I'm worried about the metal on the bushing. Let me do a little thinking and see what I can come up with because I, I don't want to press against that, crush it, and into the into the, inside of the component, and then uh, have it not work properly. So we'll be back in a moment. I am back, and what I've done is I've grabbed one of my non-stick bushings. Let's turn it around this way, and I'm going to attempt to use this because I've got a 60 degree cut in it because I use these between centers, and I'm going to attempt to use this to press that in. If I can get it, if I can center it, um, it rides perfectly down the middle of that nonstick bushing. But the question is, can I center it? Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We got lucky there. I was worried because with it being angled like that, I should probably make one that has a 20 degree uh, uh, center in it. Uh, that I can and make the back flat. So instead of being conical shaped, just make it uh, cylindrical and that will help a lot. But oh yeah, that turned out really nice. Take a look at that. Let's go ahead and get our ink refill in. And we did not crush the clicker for our pin, which is good because I didn't want to damage it. Perfect. I'm going to leave the little ball on the end of the uh, ink refill because I don't plan to use this pin right away and it could potentially dry the ink out. Oh wow. Let me get around and give you a better look at that. I am happy with that. Look at that pin. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Here's one last shot of my pin, along with several herringbone blanks that I made at the same time I made the blank on the pin. And those blanks will be for sale in my Etsy shop. The link to that will be in the description of the video while they last. I've never turned one of these button click Sierras before, but quite honestly, I really like how they work. The mechanism is very smooth. And uh, yeah, I'm anxious to kind of show this one off. I'll take it to work and uh, use it at my desk for a few days. And uh, I really like the pen, it's beautiful. I wanna thank you guys for joining me. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.